Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February the 28th of 2020. Well, it is titled the South Celestial Rocket Launch. So what do we see here? Well, we see the launch of a rocket trail and you can see the uh, fiery blast as it's heading up out into a low Earth, Earth orbit. And as it heads up there and kind of arcs into the sky. The other thing that you can see are some of the uh, trails left behind by it. So you see the main trail of the path of the rocket. But you can also see the vapor trails and other uh, others that are left behind. And interestingly, what you notice is that they are very bright white. So they are very easily visible and illuminated by the sun. However, if you look at the clouds lower down, you can see that they are already dark, meaning that the sun had set. And what we're seeing is the fact that this is up much higher in the atmosphere. So these vapor trails are very high in the atmosphere. And therefore they are seeing around the edge of the Earth around the curvature of the Earth. And that allows them to be that allows them to be seen. So they're still being illuminated. They are actually seeing the sun around the curvature of the Earth. Now the other thing that we can see are the star trails. Star trails stars appear to move when that means that they rise in the east and set in the west because of the Earth's rotation. The Earth will rotate from west to east making stars appear to rise in the east and then set in the west. So if a camera is taken and, and held and left open for an extended period of time, you can see those stars make paths across the sky. Now they will make paths around the celestial poles. The poles are the fixed points in the sky. And those are the equivalent of the north and south poles here on Earth. And if you imagine those extended out into space, that would be where the north and south celestial poles would be. And here we're looking at the South Celestial Pole. And that is just above the tip of the arc of the rocket launch. Now you notice that there's nothing there. There are no bright stars anywhere near the South Celestial Pole. And that is a coincidence right now. There happens to be no star near it. Unlike the Northern Hemisphere, where we do have Polaris, so one of the relatively bright stars that happens to be very close to the direction of the North Celestial Pole, allowing us to identify it. Now you can use the arcs here to be able to identify that rough location to be able to see where it is. In the north you have a very convenient that there is a star very close to that. Now that is not always the case because of precession the position of the pole is constantly changing. So there can come a time hundreds and thousands of years from now where there will be no star near the north celestial pole but maybe one near the south celestial pole and there can also be times where there is no star that happens to be near either of these. It is simply a coincidence right now that we just happen to have a bright star near the north celestial pole. But here we get to see the image of the rocket launch as well as the star trails identifying where the south celestial pole is in the sky. So that was our picture of the day for February the 28th of 2020. It was titled South Celestial Rocket Launch. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be DOY 60. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.